were working on quilting the donation quilt where you as the subscribers had sent in some squares and we had made some squares and put them all together to make this quilt. So this is what the quilt that we put together in a previous video not long back. Now we're quilting it today and hoping to go ahead and bind it and send it on to CareNet so that they can use it for whatever they need it to use for. We're not sure yet if they're gonna use it as a gift for one of the mothers that come through the center, if they're gonna use it as a raffle type thing to raise money for the center, or if they'll hang it in the center. I'm not sure what they're gonna do with it. That is up to them. Hopefully we will find that out eventually, but right now we are in the quilting stage of this quilt, so we're gonna to get to quilting it. This is going to take a little bit of time, so we are going to keep going with this and I'll show you the finished product when we get done. We are now to the point of binding this quilt and I am starting on the back. When I bind a quilt, if I'm hand stitching it down, then I start from the front and then go over to the back. But if I'm machine stitching it, I start from the back and go to the front. So I've made my binding, I've got my strips, and I've sewn them together. And then I'm going to take them, and normally I would iron them in half like that, all the way down it. But we are pressed for time and in a hurry and need to get this one out. So this one, I'm gonna finger press it as I go along just to get this one going and out the door. So I'm gonna start with going to the machine. Let's bring you down to the machine. I'm going to start with folding this in half, then I'm going to take a pin and I'm going to place it in the middle of any one of the sides to start with. And then I'm going to leave a little bit, maybe six to eight inches, something like that. And I'm not going to stitch that down, but I'm going to start right after that mark. So I'm going to come down here a little bit. Doesn't have to be an exact amount, just something to work with when you're putting your pieces together at the end, you'll need a little give. And then I'm gonna stitch all the way around this um, backing with the binding on it at a quarter inch down each side. And when I get to the corner, I'll show you what we do. When you make it to the end, You'll sew about a quarter inch from the end and cut your thread. Then you'll take it and your fabric will be laying like this. You'll take it and make it go like that. You wanna fold it at the angle and make it go up. You'll hold your hands there, flip it over it and hold it down so that now your fabric is going the direction you need it to go. And then we're gonna stitch this side. I've got several videos out there on binding, so if you have any questions, they're step-by-step, -step, easy to follow uh, binding videos. So check those out. And now I'm gonna stitch all the way around this until I get right back to where I started and then I'll come back to you. When I get to the end and I get close to where I started, where I pinned that piece of binding that we started with, I'm gonna lay that flat and I'm going to, and remember, I didn't iron this down. It's best to iron it down. I didn't because, well, I've done binding so many times I can do it in my sleep. So it's still better to iron it, but me being in a hurry and trying to get this out I didn't have time to do that today. So we're gonna get to the end. We've got this piece flipping here. We're gonna lay it flat. We're gonna take the end of this binding piece and I'm gonna cut a piece off because we know that from here to here is two and a half inches and we want extra two and a half inch overlap. 
So I'm gonna lay this piece that I just cut off that I know is two and a half inches from the beginning to here. And then I'm going to lay it flat, lay my binding over it, and then cut it at the end where that other piece stopped. That's basically just, now I don't have to measure from here to here two and a half inches. This little piece did it for me. I'm gonna take these two pieces and I'm gonna put them right sides together at the angle like this. And I'm gonna sew from here to here to put these two pieces together. Again, there's multiple videos I've got out there on binding and it's step-by-step, -step, goes a lot slower and explains more in depth what you're doing. So be sure to watch those if you don't know how to bind or if you have questions, that's best place to find the answer. So then I'm gonna cut anything over about a quarter of an inch over that. And now when I lay this flat, it'll fit. So I'm gonna sew the rest of this down. Make sure all this binding is attached on the back. And when I get to the end, I'll take it out and flip it over. And then I'll just pick a spot, doesn't matter where I start. I usually start in the middle of one of the sides and I'll flip it over to the front like that, and then I'll stitch all the way down all four sides. And then the quilt will be finished. And just like that, this quilt is done and ready to hand off to Karenette in the morning. So here's one donation quilt. Turned out good, y'all did a good job. So until next time, happy quilting.